Hey guys, I'm heading into a field and Wapiti block with good friends of mine, Rory and Brendan Gentle. The weather's looking pretty good for our trip, as good as fieldling gets. So first up, I'm gonna hunt with Rory. Now he's after a big mature bull, or failing that, we're gonna try to take out a couple of management stags, a couple of hybrids. Then I'm gonna jump in with Brendan, we're gonna head up the hills and do a couple of days hunting ourselves. My main focus is I'm gonna take the camera with me so you guys can sit back and join us on the ride. So we're here in Fiordland. The roar's just started. Me and Rory, we're climbed about four or five hundred metres off the coast and we're just sitting on a nice slip. I see it running up behind me. Just catching our breath here and we'll uh, head up another few hundred metres and set up our base camp. From there we'll sort of hang around there for the next four or five days and just do day hunts. Um, we'll check out the tops too, we're gonna head up there. So yeah, hopefully the animals start to go, go nuts in the next few days and we get some good roaring action. Rory just let out a roar and we've heard the first reply since we've been walking. Whoppity type animal up in there, not that far off, a couple of few hundred metres on the other face probably. A pretty stoked day Rory. Mean, first dig. Yeah, apart from that moan the boys heard this morning, that's the first bit of, bit of action we've had. Good nail them eh? Oh, give it a go eh? Just sneaking in the bush edge, just on the side of that slip now. It's a bit quieter here, out of the wind. Rory's just going to give another roar now and see if we can get him to reply.
just sneaking in a bit closer to that stag. He's still roaring back. It's not real worked up, but it's probably two o'clock in the afternoon, so as the evening sets in, might get a bit more action. Rory's just bugling away at him, roaring away at him, and yeah, see what happens. We'll try to work him up and get him to come in. It's pretty open straight in front of us. It's not too bad anyway, so good place to see him. Rory's just up there anyway. So we've just made our way up the ridge a bit further. That stag's bugling out that way. So we've just come up a bit higher, we're going to set camp up here and we'll listen to him through the night. There's a fair bit of wind around as you can hear. But yeah, we've got a good little campsite. Should be right, eh? Should be some ass. So once we had set up camp, we sat down and had dinner. We could hear the odd bugle in the distance. This made us look forward to the morning. Just packing up camp now, we're going to move, move up that ridge a bit further. Get a bit closer to that stag and probably spend the next couple of days up on the tops. So it should be right. It's pretty average sleep last night, eh? Terrible sleep. <laughs> yeah, but um, we could hear that stag roaring a few times, so that was not too bad. But yeah, head a bit higher and see how we go. Right, we're getting up there. Fair way up now, we're not far from the tops. Just got this one last bluffy piece to climb. We've had a few encounters with those deer, but it should be good once we get up into the sun. Hey Rory. Thank God. <laughs> it's a good hike. Good hike. So we've arrived out into the tops. Now we've got a lot of height over the animals. We're going to sit up here and let out a few roars and just see what sort of animals are around us on the ridges below. As we roar out to the western side into Bull Gully, we hear a nice wapiti start bugling back. This is probably the animal that was roaring at us the night before, so we're going to focus on him a wee bit. He's definitely keen, so we'll see what happens with him. Probably around that ridge there somewhere. Might take our gear down there and have a go at him and set camp up down there somewhere tonight. It's going pretty hard, eh, Rory? Yeah. Bugling oh, away. Bugling, not roaring anyway. It's pretty cool to hear, eh? Mm. Nice wee bugle down there, I'm not sure if you can hear that through the camera. So we started making our way down to the stag. We wanted to get into the open native while he's coming up so we can see him coming. But little did we know, he was heading up to us at the same time and he beat us to the scrub line. Now we've got a belt of scrub in between the tussock and the native and the stag's on the one side, we're on the other and there's no way through it without him knowing we're coming. <coughs>
bit of action there. That good wop stag come right up. He didn't want to, you can see up behind me there's a wee bit of scrub. There's just like a, a bout of it from the bush here to the tussock. We were standing in the tussock and he was standing in this, in this native here and he just didn't want to go through that bout of scrub. So big standoff for what, about 12 minutes or so. And we um, decided, you know, we thought shit, we're going to have to do something now. He'll wind us or something's going to happen anyway. But he didn't want to push through. So we tried to stalk down, but he was already on to us at that stage. And we heard him sneak off around the side. We didn't think he'd gone too far. So I carried on coming down, but nah, he's long gone. So unfortunately, there's a good opportunity there we missed. But that was pretty mean action for a little while. Just come down the ridge a bit further, set up camp. It's getting late in the Arvo, so we don't have too much light left, but we'll set up camp here. We can hear there's a whoppity bugling down that ridge, and there's a red roaring up that way. So, should be a good evening. We're just going to set up and have a feed and, yeah, listen to the, the going on about around us. Stay tuned. We find ourselves up close and personal with some Fjordan locals, but first, we're going to show you just who we use to make that trophy more than just a memory. Turn your trophy, Turn your trophy into more than just, just a memory. Mention the Hunt Nation to get your discount. Bright and early in the morning, all night we've been listening to about three, three good stags roaring and bugling down the valley. It's been pretty cool to listen to, man. So anyway, we're up this morning. Rory's just shot down to get some water. Um, we can hear the closest one going pretty hard out just across the valley. I've just been roaring at him, but we don't want to work him up too much in case he comes over here. So we're going to pack up camp, head across there, and sneak in on him. He's going pretty hard out, so yeah, should be good. I'd say we'll see this animal. Rory's on the rifle too, so we'll put him on the ground. No. We 
just close the gap on that stag. He's just roaring just on the opposite face to us. We're just sitting put here. Got a reasonable spot to shoot him from. Be able to see him if he comes sort of 20 to 30 metres in. He's going pretty hard, so hopefully we can get him to come in here. No. <laughs> 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 Got the bastard. <laughs> yeah, man. That was epic. Eh? That was pretty mean. He come through exactly where we could see, too. <laughs> yeah, brother. <laughs> oh, man. Awesome, man. Awesome. Finally. We've done a few yards for one of them. Hard out, yeah. We've done oh, a couple bro. of days. My body's buzzing, eh? He's not that big, but he's fucking... No, I thought he wasn't going to come down, eh? I thought he wasn't going to leave that, so mm. we just kept working him and working him, and come he thought, yeah, and he thought, he thought, oh, I better go and chase those buggers off. <laughs> awesome. Should we go and have a look at him? Yeah, mate. Buddy. Where is he? Oh, just there. Oh, he might be old. There you go. Right, so there we have him. We could hear this fella from camp for the last few days. He was yeah, bugling away, roaring away, definite hybrid. We thought, oh, we'll have a go at him. He was going pretty hard this morning. So, yeah, we managed to stalk in. Took a little while, eh, Rory? We were going for a while, just roaring away at him, and he, was, he wasn't moving at all. But we managed to get about 50 metres from where he was sort of bedded. We could hear him thrashing the trees around. And then he, um, after a bit of persuasion, eh, he... He come down and you yeah, got a good shooting lane of him and Rory put the 300 into him and yeah, here we are. What do you reckon, Rory? To start, no, no, no trophy, but we're certainly happy. We've been walking for three days. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good to see one. Yeah. So after sorting that stag out and putting our meat in our packs, me and Rory made our way towards the direction of the boat. We are roaring our way along the ridges as we were hitting some good sign. We got a few replies, but nothing that was real keen, so we carried on towards home. What do you reckon, Rory? Bit of a hike, eh? Bit of a hike. We're out on the river now. Probably getting near the end of our walking trip. Good sight to see, I reckon, this river, eh, mate? Think we get to float out it. <laughs> Guys have left us a few supplies. Pretty stoked, eh, Rory? Yeah. <laughs> Just quietly. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Not too bad. Not too bad. Cheers, bro. So after a bit of a break, we jumped in the dinghy and headed out towards the Amazon. We were looking forward to getting back and talking to the other guys, just seeing how they got on. Larry and Brendan had some awesome action. Check this out. It's awesome to see and hear so many promising young wapiti bulls in the area. This one here was one of the stags they encountered on their few days away from the boat and it was left to live for another day. Now it's mine and Brendan's turn to team up. We're going to head back up into the hills and see if we can find a trophy stag ourselves. Stay in That's right, me and Brendan are heading up in the hills for a couple of days. Just been dropped off. It's a wee bit of surge around. Made for an exciting landing. So we're gonna go right an up in there. To get What's that? Really needed an underwater camera to get ashore. <laughs> it would have been good. Alright, we've just had a wee climb out of the off the sea level there. Stopping at a stream to fill up our drink bottles. Been hard going, but it's not too bad. We're making our way up. Yeah. 
That's the first one today, so we'll see how we go. Stag just up that way, bugling away. What do you reckon, Brendan? Looks like our campsite, does it? Oh, yes. My feet will fall off otherwise. <laughs> We've got two bulls bugling. We've got one way down on that face. And then there's one up on the, you can see the skyline. Two different bulls down this way. This one's got half a roar to it. Noisy buggers. And yeah, and it is uh, one right up in the distance. You can just see the red through the trees. It's up in there. Should be able to hear them while we're sleeping. Got my hammock set up there. Looking out over the sound with the bulls bugling just across the valley. Can't really get a better campsite, I reckon. Now as the sun come up, the stags were still roaring. They had been going hard all night long. It was awesome to listen to. We're having a quick brekkie and packing up camp, and we're setting a game plan and moving in on the closer one of the stags. We were camped further down that ridge. The closer stags in that saddle, and his mates just around the corner a bit. We're going to head up to the ridge and come down on them. They're roaring pretty well. We're in this territory now. Freshly used wallow.
No. Yeah. Ooh. Mm -hmm.
just standing through those trees. Man, what an unreal experience. It was like this 12 pointer had never seen humans in his life. We made the call early on to leave him for another day. In a couple of years time, he's got the potential to be a very nice trophy. Flipping awesome man. And there you have it. And that's just a few of the deer experiences we were lucky enough to see on our time down in Fiordland. Now it was an unreal trip, just had the time of my life down there. Awesome bunch of guys, just full of laughs, it was just one of those amazing trips. These guys don't know how much I appreciate being invited down here, so thanks guys, thanks for everything, it was bloody awesome, I will never forget it. <laughs> No chip out here. <laughs> <laughs>